Cindy Wekwele, uh, CEO of Johannesburg Tourism Company. Thank you for taking the time for talking to Breaking Travel News. All eyes on Johannesburg for the World Cup 32 days away. Are you ready? We are definitely ready. We feel very honoured and humbled to be given this responsibility. It couldn't have happened at the right time. I think Africa time has come and I think this is an opportunity for Joburg to showcase its capabilities and we are definitely ready. You'll be hosting the kickoff concert for the World Cup in Johannesburg. What can you tell can you tell us more about this? Uh, obviously, the kickoff uh, celebration concert takes place in Orlando, in Soweto, one of our greatest townships um, in South Africa, not only because of its size, but because of its history and the legacy in Soweto. But more importantly, it's such heartwarming to know that um, all the international celebrated artists will be performing at the best uh, backdrop of the township, the oldest township, the biggest township that has contributed to turn South Africa to what it is today. Soweto in Orlando Stadium, so we're very proud. It's such an, a momentous occasion for us as Joburg people, but also as South Africans. Sounds very exciting. What differentiates Johannesburg World Cup experience from the other South African host cities? I think it's, it's about the vibrancy of its people. I think we're the most diverse city in the country, in the continent, and obviously the soul and the essence of our people. You know, we are a creative city, and obviously you'll be seeing more fashion, uh, you'll be seeing more creative people, artists performing, but more importantly, we have the World uh, Sport Destination e e Expo because we believe uh, mega events are the future of driving uh, tourism market share globally, and obviously we will be using this during this particular time Time to really showcase and engage with the global players in that regard but more importantly we have your your football uh, world football house at the convention center you have your Ritosa uh, as part of the regional tourism association in Melrose Arch so we've really tried to use this platform not only to showcase our infrastructure through soccer but also to showcase our lifestyle creative industry culture you know to really showcase Jobek for what it is you know it's about the people and I think hence our, um, our campaign from full time to party time because we are all about lifestyle, nightlife, partying, eating, dining. So it's very exciting for us, yeah. Just lastly, who do you think is going to win the World Cup? <laughs> Obviously, we'd love our boys to win the World Cup, but I think it would be such a significant um, moment for Africa because we believe this is Africa's time. So if one of the six African countries win, Africa would have won. So I'd really love to see Bafana winning, but at least one of our African countries to win. Lindiwe, thank you for talking to Breaking Travel News.